Hello everyone, we're excited to give you a sneak peek into our latest ETAP 2024 release, its features, capabilities, demonstrate a few of these enhancements, and of course address how this release continues to drive safety, reliability, efficiency, compliance, and sustainability throughout the industry. So let's get started. The very first one, of course, is the modern ribbon user interface. And this is a game changer in the way you have been utilizing and interacting with ETAP. And we're confident that this change, though is a drastic change within the way the user interface works, will completely make a difference in the way you are able to operate and manage the program in a very efficient manner. And of course, we've done our best to provide new features and capabilities that go along with the ribbon interface. And of course, we'll share some of these in the webinar that's coming a little bit later. The other thing that we, of course, enhanced on the one line diagram is the way we are able to interact with objects, including dragging and dropping. And of course, we've enhanced the way you're able to link information to your ETAP model and, of course, visualize and interact with that information. We have a brand new module, which is AC control circuit diagram that allows you to simulate AC single phase control circuits, particularly in our control panels for instrumentation and control. We have another new module, which is feeder hosting capacity that's used to simulate and analyze the amount of renewable energy that can be hosted in a distribution system. We have added a full new innovative dimension called sustainability analysis. And we're super excited about this new feature because this is at the core of the purpose of our organization. And the purpose of sustainability analysis is to improve electrical designs with a whole new dimension that has never been previously analyzed. We're also supercharging compliance and efficiency by enhancing our grid code solution by including grid code analyzers and new expanded capabilities. We have improved our cable sizing and enhanced it by including compliance tables from NEC 2023. We've expanded our offer for Australian standard cable sizing by including shock and thermal protection based on Australian and New Zealand standard 3000. And of course, we are staying current, we're staying ahead, and we want to stay safe. And we've also continued to enhance our ArcFlash module by including NFPA 70E 2024 and of course the Canadian standards. Lightning risk assessment allows you to graphically assess the risk of lightning and the adequacy of your lightning protection system. And for this purpose, we've also included a new standard, which is IEC 62305, making this a comprehensive graphical lightning risk assessment module. The substation ground grid capability has also been enhanced, including a new methodology, which is IEC 50522, in addition to the existing IEEE 80, as well as a finite element method. Staying with the theme of safety, we've also added the ability to display and verify energy and current limiting capabilities of molded case circuit breakers and cables so that you can, of course, visualize the capability as well as size the conductors and the molded case circuit breaker protection accordingly. We've also added the ability to simulate the transients with respect to DC arc flash and of course, with the proliferation of energy storage devices, this is a key capability that is now part of the DC ArcFlash module. DC ArcFlash also includes our innovative C area methodology for increasing the efficiency at which you can conduct these ArcFlash studies. And of course, the C area methodology already exists in the AC ArcFlash module. You can also, of course, use ETAP to assess and improve power quality. And for this purpose, we've also enhanced our unbalanced harmonic analysis module to include unbalanced 
network frequency scan. And as the name suggests, it allows us to scan the frequency and plot impedance versus frequency for each phase individually, particularly useful for single phase systems. And of course, we've also enhanced the way we do our passive filter sizing by increasing our offering from not just a single tune filter, but also including sizing for high pass, third order damped, as well as the C type filters. And of course, with again, proliferation of energy storage devices, renewable energy comes the core component, which is inverters or inverter based resources. And of course, there's been latest changes in the harmonic standards, particularly in IEEE 519. So ETAP 2024, of course, includes compliance and rules based on IEEE 519 2022, based on IEEE 1547, as well as IEEE 2800, in order to make sure that you are up to date with the latest standards that are needed for power quality compliance. Of course, to also tackle the new energy landscape, we need newer components as part of our digital twin offer. And the very first component that we've included as a new digital twin uh, component for modeling and simulation is DC power capacitor. We've also enhanced our grid interactive smart inverters by including additional control modes. And we've added yet another digital twin component, which is auto transformer, including two winding and three winding modeling capabilities. We have a brand new module, which is a game changer within our industry. And this module is unified transient and protection. As simply as I can explain it, it allows the combination of dynamic stability analysis with the complete protection evaluation, not just instantaneous, but also overcurrent, distance, out of step, fuses, breakers, relays, everything is included within this evaluation along with our stability program, which makes it a very unique offering that allows you to do these assessments at a single click. We've also enhanced our dynamic or transient stability program to include all sequences, visualize the sequences, and of course, plot those sequences graphically on, on the uh, one line diagram, as well as our plots. And we've also enhanced the way that we model differential relays. And of course, in ETAB, we include generic differential relays with restricted earth fault, which is a new capability. But in addition to that, you can also model vendor specific differential relays, allowing you to move closer to the physical device along with its labels and tags. We've also made it very, very simple to make our customers go from design into operations. When we're moving from design to operations, we use the same electrical digital twin and connect it with the real-time operations data. And in fact, in certain cases, ETAP can also act as a SCADA system, allowing you to not only monitor and perform predictive simulation, but also control the electrical system especially in the absence of an electrical skater. Now, of course, the digital twin has to be updated incrementally because there are all these design changes that happen within an electrical system on the engineering side. And these could be future changes or adaptations to the engineering design. And the ability to then move these changes into the operation side has been streamlined and made more efficient in ETAP 2024. We are, of course, also improving our network project management, which allows us to collaborate on the same ETAP project at the same time. And we've drastically improved the performance of this collaboration tool, especially when we're dealing with large distribution systems with over a million components, making sure that your experience with ETAP is as enjoyable and seamless and streamlined as possible. We've also enhanced eProtect. eProtect is part of our centralized enterprise asset management solution. eProtect communicates with field protection relays, and it also communicates with ETAP star and star Z in order to manage the location, 
information and settings throughout the life cycle of protective relays and other electrical assets. It's an invaluable tool, of course, for transmission NERC PRC compliance, but it's an invaluable tool also for mission critical facilities such as industrial systems, data centers, and so much more. In conclusion, ETAP 2024 brings a range of powerful and precise tools to your fingertips with a modern user interface. So thank you so much for joining us today. Stay tuned for more detailed demonstrations that are coming very soon.